if you're just getting into podcasting, you've probably seen a lot of those podcast gurus out there that will help you to make your show bigger, more downloads, more activity. They want to help your show grow. They're really good. They tend to cost a lot of money, thousands of dollars. In this short YouTube video, I'm going to give you everything that they're basically talking about, save you a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money. So number one is to make sure that your podcast is listed on as many podcast directories as you can find. You do that when you launch, and probably your host will have a process where you can upload to Apple using Apple Podcast Connect, to Spotify uh, using Spotify for podcasters, but get you on Amazon Music, uh, get you on Castro, Overcast, Pocket Casts, all the different directories. I can think of about a dozen to 15 of them off the top of my head. But then along the way, you're going to find other podcast apps like Picked Cherries, or in India, a really big one is GeoSavan. Every time you come across a new podcast directory, use your RSS feed and upload your podcast to that directory. That will help to grow your show. You want to maintain a consistent cadence for publishing episodes. If you've decided to publish every week, fantastic. You will grow your podcast with that effort because your listeners will develop a habit listening to your podcast. But let's say that's not in the budget. You don't have the time. You don't have the money to make that happen. A lot of people, when they first start, they decide to publish every two weeks. That's not bad at all. That's a good way to start and dip your toe in the waters. But make sure you're publishing every two weeks. If you've decided to publish new episodes every second Tuesday, one of the biggest mistakes I see new podcasters make is they don't stay on a consistent schedule. They get busy. Can I skip this one? Is it okay if I publish Wednesday instead? Always you can break rules a little bit, but try to stay on that consistent publishing schedule. Encourage listeners in every episode to leave ratings and reviews. Those do a couple of things. They don't impact the algorithm directly, but ratings and reviews are one of the ways that you appear on the Apple and Spotify charts. New ratings, uh, new reviews, those go into the Apple and Spotify algorithms on whether they put you on their charts. And obviously, if you appear on the charts, more likely that people are going to find you. So what I like to do is at the end, the last things I say to listeners is, thanks for listening. If you can, please leave a rating and a review that really helps the podcast. And then I like the last line is, if you enjoyed this episode, forward this podcast to one friend. That's a small ask and it helps with organic reach. Leverage social media. Now, there's lots of conversation amongst podcast people that social media doesn't necessarily help your podcast. It can. It's just another channel or several channels where people can find and choose to engage with your podcast. One thing you could do, uh, you could start with your own social media channels that you have already and say, hey, uh, here's what's important about this episode. Don't say I've just dropped a new episode. Check it out here. That's not enough. Uh, people are going to be really bored with a post like that. What you could post is here's a key takeaway that I mention or my guest mentions in this podcast and then play a clip of that, a video clip of that. In time, develop social media channels that are specifically for your podcast so it has its own unique voice and unique brand. Consider paid advertising. This is definitely something a lot of podcast gurus don't talk about because they don't want you to spend your money on what is a very effective process for showing people your podcast, they'd rather you spend the money that you have with them. We've had enormous success running banner ads on CastBox, Pocket Casts, and Overcast. I wasn't a big fan of banner ads until I started this process. And the banners just run across the top of the app. People see that, they click it, and they check it out. Our own podcast went on CastBox. This is a real example. We went from about 20 followers to zero followers on CastBox to 12,557 followers on CastBox with two weeks of a single banner ad. That's amazing. And most of them a year later, most have stayed and we still see those downloads getting into the mix. We've seen similar results with Pocket Casts and Overcast. Think about banner ads on those podcast apps. Utilize email marketing. That's a key channel if you're able to develop 
uh, an email following. And once you do, it could be through a newsletter that you've got. Uh, you write, might write a newsletter article for each new episode that you've got and blast it out to people. It's good to get it in front of them. It's, it's nudge theory to remind them that you've got an episode. Here's what it's about. They've chosen to subscribe at some point, and this might be something they want to check out. Engage with your listeners. On Spotify, they have a terrific channel where you can ask poll questions. You can ask a specific question about that episode and go back and forth with your listeners. I get lots of notes on LinkedIn about my podcast episodes, and every time I see them, I make sure I correspond with that listener. They tell me they think XYZ. I say, yeah, I think XYZ is awesome, and what also caught my attention is ABC. Something like that. Don't be aloof and just, oh, great, that's a fan. Engage with your listeners. That's really important. Be a guest on other podcasts. Um, you've probably heard that from all the podcast gurus. It works. It, it helps. And when you do, make sure that in the show notes to that other podcast, they're willing to share a link to your podcast. That's really what you're trying to do. And then my last point is collaborate with influencers. So, that can mean a lot of different things for different podcasts. I'll give you one example. Our flagship podcast is called Stories and Strategies, and the audience is public relations professionals. So influencers for us are all the different PR associations, like the Public Relations Society of America and all the different chapters throughout the United States, um, the International Association for Business Communicators, IEBC, and all the different chapters around the world. Recognize who the influencers are in your field of expertise or your podcast subject matter and liaise with them. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, it would be awesome if you would subscribe to this channel. Really appreciate it. Um, and if you enjoyed it, send the link to a friend.